What's going on everyone? My name is Uli Lito and today we have a brand new video on my channel where I will be featuring my Xbox Weekend League recap. How did the Weekend League go for us on Xbox? And I've seen so many comments talking to me, nah, you should be doing Swedish, etc. As I've told everyone, I will be doing English on this channel, sorry for that. But I'm having a Swedish channel as well, not uh, uploading as much as I do here. But I'm trying to get some videos out for you guys as well. So um, yeah, thank you everyone for supporting me in this de in this decision, I appreciate it a lot and uh, thank you so much for all the nice comments that I'm getting on my videos, thank you so much. Um, as you see, this was taken from uh, when I streamed um, my weekly, because I'm streaming 60 games now, both Xbox and PS4, and I think that impacts the result a bit, because you see here I was 18 and two uh, here, I didn't record any of my losses because I felt like these losses that I took was just poor for me basically. I didn't play good this weekend and um, this weekend should have been a 30-0, definitely it should have been. My matchmaking wasn't that hard, um, I got some some good players I guess, Elite 2, one Elite 1 guy and um, some more decent players but this should have been a 30-0 for sure. Um, but as you saw in the back background, we were 18 and 2, and we needed to win 9 out of 10 games to finish Elite 1. Uh, and I really, really think that with this team, I should be getting 30 0 every week, you know. But I just need to grind a bit more, uh, need to get used to this gameplay, because I felt like I got hard done by EA um, sometimes this weekend. Um, I didn't win many 50-50s, it felt like um, I didn't have the margins on my side, definitely. I lost my fifth game this weekend league because I got a red card in the fifth game. And then uh, he equalized and then he scored in, in the 90th and that should have been a red card that I took, basically. So I, I already felt that in game 5 that I was getting hard done by, um, basically, and um, it was tough, not gonna lie. Um, but as I said, if I were to play, for example, some games off stream or all the 30 games off stream, I think this would have been a 30 no. Um, while streaming, I need to be a bit more, you know, concentrated on the chat, etc., which I think can take away a bit of focus, which I'm not blaming it on because I need to play better than I did this week. But just a heads up that um, I need to play better FIFA and I need to improve at the game even more, basically. Uh, and when you see this video today, it's Monday. Um, and I think uh, most of the kids in Sweden this time has holiday. Um, so there will be coming a weekly league recap on the PS4 Road to Glory tomorrow. But when you're seeing th this video, it's Monday and I will be streaming later on today. The last games on PS4, we are at the moment 16 and 1 there on the Road to Glory. And I really, really hope we can achieve a really good re uh, score there. Uh, as you see in the background, we scored a bullshit goal as well. Winning some 50-50s. So I feel like, as you see in the background there, uh, I feel like this game is more of a 50-50 game to be honest. He wins that as well. I was lucky that he didn't score there though for sure. But then I'm giving away stupid possession. Did it, nothing did happen though. Uh, but as you see here, <laughs> I mean Neymar doing some Neymar type things. Uh, Apana on Upamecano and then we dance. Um, but as I said, I feel like this game um, is, for me defensively at least, a 50-50 because I feel like I'm losing many 50-50s with my opponent's strikers and my center backs and I already uh, sold the Rio Ferdinand as well because I didn't feel like he was that good. Um, he cost me the first game definitely and the second game he wasn't good at all either. So I actually bought, um, bought back Joe Gomes and uh, planning on playing Nick Pope or Alisson in goal as you see the goals I'm conceding. Just a normal shot that Ter Stegen should be saving, but goes right back to him and uh, as you see, I was a bit mad after that goal of course. Um, but as I said, this was going to be a tough game, he's just turning, I'm getting the ball with Ferdinand once again, bouncing back to his son, I can't do anything about that basically. But then we have something called kickoff, as you see the timer up there is 78, uh, 78th minute. R9, within a 50-50 there, goes on the inside and then that's a penalty. Um, I mean, I'm doing the ball roll right into him, so I don't don't think that should be a pen. But more than often, the ref blows for pens in this game, so I was just hoping to get an easy pen. Um, I, I, got a, I got an easy pen from the ref and R9 doesn't miss, basically. Super good on penalties, R9 is. Um, and yeah, 
I think um, we are moving on. We are in this game around 22 and 2, I think. So if we were to lose this game, we would have been 22 and 3. And then needed to win our five last games to finish Elite 1. But CR7 does what he wants, scores 6-4. And I think this clip sums up my weekly league on Xbox, uh, basically. You see, his keeper is out. Uh, I'm launching it right onto the goal and the ball just stops, basically. Uh, so I, I think that, clip's, um, that clip definitely shows how my weekly league went on Xbox. Because uh, I was... Quite unlucky in my opinion to not win the games that I lost, but it is what it is. I need to play better, I need to find some new formations that works for, uh, versus the worst players I guess. Because I feel like I'm playing good versus the better players like I did in FIFA 20. But I've never been a really weak in league player, you know. Concentrating for uh, 30 games or even now 60 games is hard for me. Um, and um, I'm starting to, you know, I think getting better at it, of course, but I've never been a weekly player and I think many, I don't know, like, players or fans watching FIFA a lot is judging the pros by their weekly league stats, which in my opinion you shouldn't, but many of the people do that and I think that's wrong because for me at least weekly league is about matchmaking um, in particular and I think, you know, it's... It's more of, you know, not getting lucky, of course, because you are a good player if you're hitting 30s. But I've seen some players hit 30s last week and now didn't even reach Elite 1 this week. So I think it's about, you know, getting lucky in some games that are tough, of course, and, and win them. And then getting a decent matchmaking, of course. We have dope pros that are having a tough match matchmaking and still getting 30s and that's totally like respect to them. And respect to these players that have already gone a 30 as well. Super strong by them. Super good players as well. Um, but as last year, um, I did, I mean, pretty well on FIFA 20. And I didn't do so well in Weekend League. So, I mean, it's, it's just a balance there, you know. Um, we had some really, really good players in Sweden last year, especially. That I felt like were close to qualifying for bigger events. And they also did very good in Weekend League. But then... Versus the pros, it was a bit tougher, you know, uh, because weekend league and playing pros are two different type of things. Y um, you you can you, you how, how do I say it? Like you can't play how you how you play in weekend league compared to versus pros, in my opinion, um, because uh, in weekend league you can play fast, of course, uh, when you're playing worse players, but when you're playing pro players, that definitely knows the, the game, knows the meta, knows everything about the game. Um, it's it's hard to play just straightforward and, and going forward, lose possession, hope to win a 50-50 and then go, basically. Um, but enough about that, Neymar is going to score the fourth here for us, 4-1, and um, seals the deal, basically, in that game. I think we were 26-2 and two when we matched this guy, Beans on post, or even 25-2 and two maybe. Um, I lost two games though, didn't lose any in this streaming uh, process um, or in this stream that I'm uh, watching now in the background. Uh, sorry for stuttering a bit. Or 9 though, scores 1-0, easy rage quit um, that game. I love that type of games though, when you, you are facing a worse team and then you score a quick goal, you have a, I mean, a monster team and then he rage quit saves a lot of time. Uh, Mbappe finds a bit of space here. Uh, little, I mean, a little bit unlucky that didn't, that that ball didn't go into the back of the net, but it is where it is. Uh, Smedo finds uh, R9, just an easy drag back into a roulette, and that is class. That is class. Uh, R9 has done very, very well for me, but to be honest, I think he is not worth that amount of coins that I bought him for. I mean, he's fantastic. Uh, in, in front of gold, but for 9 million coins, he's not really worth it. And I think he's even uh, now around maybe 7.5 or something. So I lost, lost coins on him. And I'm actually thinking about selling him and bringing in, bringing in Vieira and Pele, for example. But we will see how that develops. Uh, I think R9, as I said, has been really, really good. But is he really worth 7 million coins? Tell me in the chat. I really need to know that. Tell me in the comments, please. Uh, finding R9 here. Last game of... The weekend league on Xbox this was and we are finding the back of the net 
And um, we were about to finish 28 and 2. Is that enough for top 200? No, it isn't because a uh, weekend league has been extended for one day. So, unfortunately, we didn't reach top 200 this week, though we are 57 and 3 monthly, which uh, I'm, I would say, happy about. Like, not really happy about, but I think that's decent for sure. Uh, got a 29 and a 28. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you a lot. Love you all. Thank you so much for the amazing support and the nice comments I'm getting. And uh, yeah. Thank you for following my journey and supporting me through bad and good times. Peace. I love you all. Bye.